Bristow State University was first established as a teacher's college in 1857 and received its university status in 2005. Here to tell us about the future of the university is Dr. Dwan Warmack, the new president of Harris Stowe State University. Welcome, Dr. Warmack. Thank you. Thank you for having and, me. And you're here, you've been here for two years two in St. Louis. Yes, so indeed. So you're, you're new to town, but I'm sure loving it, enjoying it. Having a great time. I feel like uh, I'm a veteran now. I feel like I'm from St. Louis. Good. Yeah. That's awesome. So Harris Stowe has a rich history and um, a really interesting student body. So tell us about who the who the, um, the current students are at the university. Right, Harris Stowe does have an amazing history. It's been around in this community for about 158 years, educating citizens from the greater St. Louis region. Um, currently right now, we have about 1,600 students, you know, um, representing uh, probably about 21 states now, 14 countries, so extremely diverse institution, and it uh, provides a lot of opportunity for first-generation lower socioeconomic students. Okay, and it's interesting, we were talking um, off camera about mm -hmm. the fact that it was started as a teacher's college, yes. <laughs> but you made a point that every university was started as a teacher's college. No, well, not every, most institutions start their history, mm -hmm. start off as a teacher's college. When you think about 1800s, there were a lot of other different professions, you know, mm -hmm. so most of the time were about education. And so, um, founded as a teaching institution in 1857 um, for whites only, what made it, um, history so unique as Harris Teachers College. But on the other side of town was Stowe Teachers College for African Americans only, founded in 1890. You know, schools operated independently mm -hmm. for about, a, you know, 80 plus years, and then they merged due to landmark case Brown versus Board of Education. Mm -hmm. So it was the first school of uh, higher education to merge in the state of Missouri. So once that merger happened, it became um, Harris Teachers College at that time and the Stowe name dropped. But then in 1977, through a Senate bill, it added the Stowe name back and it became Harris Stowe, Harris Stowe Teachers College. And then in 1979, it became Harris Stowe State College. And then in 2005, it became Harris Stowe State University. Mm -hmm. And talk about the, the state um, designation. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Well, it's just that you receive funding and support from the state. Currently, mm -hmm. right now, there's 13 state institutions. So you have the all of the Mizzou system. You mm -hmm. have, you know, um, uh, Truman, you have Southeast Missouri, Missouri State, Lincoln University, Missouri Western are all part of the state system of Missouri. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. know that that's commonly known, that Harris Stowe is part of our, our state of Missouri system. Yeah, it has is... been since 1979. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you came in two years ago, and um, you've seen amazing enrollment trends. We yeah, have. We've been very fortunate. In our first year, um, our class, we had the largest enrollment increase in the state of Missouri, had about an 8.6 overall enrollment increase and a 24.4% first year student increase. So it was amazing for us because 10 years straight we dropped in enrollment and then we had an amazing, amazing year last year. Mm -hmm. So what are your, um, your recruitment um, uh, methods, if, we, if you will? I can't tell you that. If I tell you that, then everyone else would do it. But I will say that we've been very intentional and very strategic in this process. Mm -hmm. We've created a robust enrollment management plan, and so our territory management is focused on areas that we know we can yield a quality student. So we didn't just increase that enrollment. To give it to you in practical numbers, when I arrived, the most applications we've ever had in school history, it's about 1,500. We're, we're over 4,600 applications right now to bring in a class of 600. And so we are getting students as far west as California. Um, we have a ton from all of the bordering states, from uh, Illinois, from Tennessee, from Michigan. All of these students are very interested in Harris at this time. Yeah. So um, when you came in, you you really got involved in the St. Louis community. You're mm -hmm. you're working on many many of our community boards. Right. Um, you're mm -hmm. reaching out to the school systems, um, the high schools, middle mm -hmm. schools in St. Louis. You've got a very busy job <laughs> but you're also um, really in touch with the students yeah hey, I think uh, that's the most important piece that that we remain student centered student focused and student driven mm -hmm. um, without the students we wouldn't be here this is ministry work for me you know mm -hmm. I've, I've um, uh, been blessed to have an amazing career and now it's time for me to pay it forward mm -hmm. so I've decided to serve at a place like Harris Stowe that has a large percentage of first generation college students from lower socioeconomic backgrounds which was me and mm -hmm. so um, I'm at a place where I can provide an educational opportunity but also to minister based on my life experiences coming from the urban core as well so I you know I've, I've loved the work that happens at Harris Stone I love our mission yeah, and what a great role model you are to your students, and a great bow tie. We're going to talk about that in a minute when we come back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> your little um, hidden trick there. We'll have more with Harris Stowe State University after this. Stay with us.